Hey everybody, welcome back to Siberia 2. We met Melka, who told us a couple of things. She lived with a guy she lives with a guy named Circos because her parents are uh, deceased, unfortunately. And she says, whenever you go back to America, take me with you. Uh, maybe. We'll see. We are trying to find now these these brothers who could potentially help us with the coal scenario, but um, not too sure just yet. So we're gonna go look for them, and then we'll uh We'll stumble around underneath these tracks a bit more and see what we can find. Let's see. Those guys could be brothers. Who knows? What are these things? That's kind of weird. Um, good evening, sir. Good evening, milady, and welcome to the famous Circus Cabaret. Oh, Haven this is Circus, of okay. pleasures and human arts. How may I be of service to you? I've just arrived here. My name's Walker. Kate Walker. You have a charming little town. Uh, well, Miss Walker, allow me to wish you a charming sojourn in our charming town. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be around long. I've got to get going again soon. Hmm. What can you tell me about Romansburg? This is one strange town you live in, Mr. Sirkos. Only folks come to this town are folks just passing through. Often as not, KG folk come here buying and selling or wheeling and dealing and having themselves a fine old time. After this town, there's nothing but snow, Miss Walker. Mr. Sirkos, say, do a lot of trains pass through here? Not now. Of course, once upon a time, that line was quite a thoroughfare. Now, it's good as abandoned. People going to know you in town, Miss Walker. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. <laughs> yeah, your horses look fantastic. Uh, speaking of, let's go check them out. I don't know if this is some kind of simulated race or what this would be. Whoa. Nope, that doesn't work. Very weird. Doesn't look like we can go backstage. What's the deal with your horses? Mr. Sirkos? What can I do for you, miss? Mr. Sirkos, those horses on the stage are strangely familiar. Before, I had a performing monkey, but he died at the end of the fall. Climate here's too rough and tumble for intelligent animals. Without my monkey, my cabaret was a sham. But the show must go on, so I dug out these old automatons. Been pretty successful in their time. Let's get them back on stage, I said. It's their mechanism, though, very delicate to regulate, takes several hours. But I invite you, Miss Walker, to watch my new act, Horsebreaker to Mechanical Stallions. <laughs> okay, maybe Hans can fix Your it. Your clockwork horses, Mr. Sirkos. They look so like something yeah. a dear friend of mine might have made. Uh, maybe your dear friend is my dear friend. What's his name? Hans. Hans Varlberg. Hans Vorlberg. Well, I never. It's been years since I've had any oh, okay. news of him. So he does know How his name. How is he going? Very well. We're traveling together. Oh, Miss Walker. Can you tell Hans to come up here? Make an old showman mighty happy. If he could turn a screwdriver to them, their clockwork horses. Because I don't know diddly about automatons. Sure, I'll pass on the message. But I can't promise he'll come. We're kind of short of time, Mr. Sirkos, you understand? Of course, of course, Miss Walker. But tell him anyway, would sure make my day. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. Okay, uh, so let's see if maybe hands can help us.
Oh, cool. It's got these horses advertised everywhere. Oh, honestly, oh, I mean to say, what an... What is it this time? Shut it, right? You hulking jerry roll, or else you'll be answering to me. And what is it now? Good day, sir. Don't go in chatting me. <laughs> what can I do for you, ma'am? <laughs> My name's Kate Walker. I just got here. A pretty little thing so far from home. Where are you from, lovebird? From... from New York. New York, eh? Hey, <laughs> well, I never... You traveling alone, ma'am? No, no, I'm traveling with two companions. I came by train. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> the coal dispenser looks like it's broken. You might be right there. Quite often broken she is, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you know how I can get it working again? You've got to put a bit of gas in, that's all. In the red tank. Put to the machine. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Always a pleasure. <laughs> so Where gasoline. Where can I find some gas? We Just saw the, the uh, coal dispenser. <laughs> we saw it from the top when we were I looking at the girl. I came by train and... So we sewn, me and my bro. Nice machine. No, really. <laughs> No ration tin can, that baby, or no? Nice train. Nice. Nice. Doo doo. Uh, yeah, actually, it belongs to one of my friends. You must be very rich, your friend, eh? <laughs> doo doo. Not really. He built the train to go looking for sight. Uh, I mean, to realize a kind of dream of his. Dream, you say? Hey, very interesting. What kind of dream needs a pretty train like that, eh? If it's not a personal question. Doo -doo. A childhood dream. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> Seeing as you don't seem to want to help me. <laughs> you might have a point there, my flower. Goodbye now. No. Goodbye. Well, that was not the greatest. Where exactly? We're gonna get off into some weird area here. Oh, he's putting up all these posters. Whoa. <sighs> it's really a bit too cold. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Let's, uh... Oh, we can keep going. Let's see what's out here. This path must lead to the monastery. Pity it's so far away. Maybe I can stop off on my way back from Siberia. Okay, so we're not going to go through there right now then. But what is this? I like to get like a general lay of the land and this then uh stuck. Do we need coins maybe? No. Interesting. This thing's stuck. It's just newspapers. I'm not sure how much that would help us right now, but. Okay, that'll just run us back. Okay, let's go find this fuel can, shall we? It's probably by Melka. It would have to be near the train okay so here is where we saw it in this general area at least I thought so there it is out of luck 
The can's empty. Are you I'm kidding me? I'm gonna see me? if I can find somewhere to fill it. Okay, well, we'll take the can. This is the generator, which probably a runs the coal thing. petrol-driven generator. Now, where could I find some fuel? Hmm. Let's see. No, no dice. Oh, there's no more gas. That's the problem. Okay, let's go talk to, uh... Let's go talk to the store owner. See if he could help us with some gas. I mean, we could wait for the coal guys to come, but that's going to be a significant amount of time. Come on. Um, oh, wait, no. Actually, 625122, is that a phone number? I wonder why it would show us that. 625122, can we just call this? Oh, you know what? Because um, that drawer is broken. So hold on. <laughs> this like Maybe this is stupid. Uh, the drawer is broken. So maybe we call these guys. They're the candy company. Call them to fix the drawer. Also, hey, bring some gas. But I guess we could talk to him first. Thank you for calling Candy Roth. Our offices are closed for the winter season, but we'll be delighted to deal with your order at the thaw. In the meantime, why not try our delicious Hoing Ing? The bite-sized Asian fish candy with the sugary taste. Or our hazelnut stuffed Klondikes. Or even our Canadian specialty, honey katalas. Okay, well that didn't work. That theory's bunk. But we can call them, which is interesting. 625122. Colonel Emiliov. Ah. Miss Walker. The generator's dry. There's not a drop of gas. Not a drop of gas, huh? Hmm. That's strange. Because as far as I know, no one's ever used the coal dispenser. Interesting. Luckily, I've got a jerry can. Is there somewhere I can fill it up, Colonel? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Have to wait for maintenance. They fill the generator from time to time. That's the yeah, same guys. Yeah, I know. Next week, or the week after, or sometime next blue moon. Hmm. A generator down below with some kind of coal dispensing gizmo on top. Where will the technological revolution end? Oh, it's no more crazy than a clockwork locomotive that needs coal, my dear. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. Hmm, okay. So, look, let's go and talk to the people that we ran into. Um, maybe we go back and we could talk to the brothers? My idea of... I was either thinking, okay, call the candy company because that drawer was stuck, remember? But then that didn't work. Because I was thinking they could come, hey, bring some gas, or we could just siphon it. Steal it would be, you know, probably bad. Does she have anything else to tell us? Hi, Malika. You want to talk to me? To you, yes. Malka, do you know anyone who has gas here? No, Kid Walker. You see, I need gas to get that coal contraption working. <laughs> Not me. I don't touch that machine. It smells. I'm going to see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. Okay, let's go back and talk to the brothers. See what they have in their lockdown area here. Look, they're even running generators here. So hold on, they gotta have fuel, these guys. You again? Yep, little old me again. 
I need coal for my train, but the coal dispenser has run out of gasoline. I thought you might be able to sell me a bit of fuel. So, you're ready leaving? Sorry, we ain't got no gas. Are you kidding? Ain't got no gas at all. But what's that motor noise behind you then? <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. That works on electricity, see, miss? Okay. <laughs> and that smoke works on electricity too? Uh, see, uh, what you see ain't your business, miss. Take care of your own backyard and leave me and my brother here to work. Yeah. Leave Igor and uh, Ivan to work. But I need some gas, that's all. We ain't got none. N-O-G-A-S. No gas. N-O. No. Gas. Uh, no gas. No gas. Hey, sir, I really need some gas, and looks like you've got some here. Oh, patootie, don't know the meaning of no, as in no, we ain't got none. No ga uh, no gas, no gas. Hmm. Seeing as you don't These seem guys to are want super to help helpful. Me. <laughs> now I'm a you bit stuck. You might have a point there, my flower. Goodbye now. No, goodbye. Okay, well, hmm, maybe we can go down to the uh, the outside area. And see, or maybe the guy that was putting up posters can help us. Or maybe we can get in there. Oh, dirty. Okay, well, I certainly don't want to go and tell them, do I? That I'm in here? They kick me right out. Oh. Cute. Hey, no! Oh, yeah, no. go chase him. Ah. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. You clam brain blubber bag. <laughs> Wait till I catch you. That's hilarious. Look, they even have more gas canisters here. Is, is this one full? Beautiful. I don't know that we want to go in here and wake these guys up. He's sleeping, though. Excuse me, sir. Are you sleeping? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, 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 what do you want? I've got a little something to say to your brother. Uh, Ivan, he, uh, leave me all alone here. My brother, uh, abandoned me. God, how I pity you, Igor. Dumb animal. All the cash it might have brought me gone up in smoke. The... Uh, there is Ivan. Ivan will be happy to see you. You know, go, go Missy. E. What? You let the Yankee leave? You are a Yuki brain, Igor. A Yuki brain. A lunch shack <laughs> Yuki brain. That was a close call. That worked out actually really well. Okay, we're on the right track now. Let's get this sucker going. There we go, fire it up. And there's coal back here, I think that's coal anyway, so... Okay, let's go upstairs and make dreams come true. I 
I do wonder if the phone number for the candy place actually means anything. What's happened? Mr. Forelberg has disappeared. What? He was in the train, and now he isn't. Don't panic, Oscar. He can't have gotten far. I'll go and round him up. He is not in the best of health, Kate Walker. And it is so cold. I know, I know, but calm yourself down. I'll go and look for him right away. Where are we going to find him? Now this guy's up here, putting up posters. I'm assuming he wouldn't be in the train. Well, that might be a bad assumption, but... Let's go back down and look for him. There's only... I mean, we could go... He could be in two places. He could be either with the brothers area, which is doubtful. Uh, let's see if she saw him. Would you have a second you could spare? Oh, so you're still here then. Malka. Have you seen my friend Hans? He's not in great shape. I've got to find him. The little man? Yes, I've seen him. He's kind. He told me about mammoths and faraway places. So you have seen Hans. Where is he? He went to Circo's place. He said, <laughs> I'm just going to drop in on an old friend. Probably fixing I'm the I'm going to see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. I love that she calls me by my full name. Siberia. What? Whoa. He had like some type of major flashback or something. How's it going? Father, Hans doesn't want to stay in the attic anymore. <laughs> what? What happened? It, it's not his fault. How's it going? Your brothers are good for nothing imbecile, Anna. You hear me? A feeble idiot. Uh oh. How's it going? Siberia. How's it going? Your brothers are. Okay. Well, now what are we going to do? Let's go talk to Oscar. See what he thinks. Kate Walker, what does all this mean? I don't know, Oscar. Hans has had a kind of fit, a kind of delirium. His health isn't exactly 100% right now. Why, that's simply awful, Kate Walker. We must do something. Things cannot go on like this. Please, calm down. I'll see what I can do. Okay, Kate Walker, but do hurry. So, now what are we going to do? We're going to need to go for help, I think. Colonel, please, can you help me? What can I do for you, Miss Walker? So far, he's been mega helpful. I want to go up to the monastery, but it's so cold outside. Would you have some warm clothes to loan me? Maybe so. I might find what you want up in the attic. I'll get the ladder out. I'll oh, pay perfect. you for what I use, of course. Don't you worry, Kachuchka. Great ray of sunshine in this dusty old shop. 
and we don't see sunshine here every day. You'll find something that'll fit you in the attic, I'm sure. That wasn't really the help I was asking for, but... I can't climb up there anymore. Colonel, please, can you help me? What can I do for you? Would you have something to treat a fever? My friend is sick. I'm sorry. I sold my last pills last Seriously, week. Seriously, bro? Is there a doctor around here? Or a pharmacy or something? Around these parts? Well, that would surprise me. They say the monks up there can patch a man up. At least people around here go up there sometimes. Thanks for all your help, Colonel. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker. Colonel, please. What can... Our route is still long and my friend is suffering. I don't know what to do. Siberia is hellish cold at this time of year, Miss Walker. And journeys take an age. Your friend isn't in the prime of youth anymore. Thanks for all your help, Colonel. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker. All right. That's not going to work out. So let's go up top and see if there's anything we can find. We knew that ladder would come into place somehow. Now, where to find some place appropriate to slip into this? I guess the bathroom. Like, no one's going to see us up here anyway. We can go to the bathroom on our uh, train, though. I guess maybe because it's we found out now that it's uh, the monastery back in the... Uh, let's tell him first of all that we're doing this. Maybe the monastery can help? Colonel, please, can you help me? What can I do for you, Miss Walker? I feel like, I don't know why, this is very obviously here. 625-122. 625-122. Let's see if we get the voicemail again. Thank you for calling Candy Roth. Our offices are closed for the winter season, but we'll be delighted to deal with your order at the thaw. In the meantime, why not try our- hmm. All right. So let's go change into the clothes. And then I guess we could try and head to the monastery area. <sighs> At last, a bit of privacy for once. <laughs> for once. <laughs> <laughs> 